Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. We're going to talk about the radio pains in Ham Radio Deluxe today. So get ready, open up HRD, and let's configure the radio pains. Okay, I've got a post on my website, k0pir.us. And it talks about setting up the radio panes in Ham Radio Deluxe. And also on my website, you'll find uh, some other articles that I posted recently about Ham Radio Deluxe. So you might want to visit those, and I'll have them all linked together. I'll put a link down in the, the description also. But uh, first, we're going to take a look at Ham Radio Deluxe and uh, the uh, Connect or Ham Radio Deluxe rig control. And I'm going to go ahead and, and disconnect here. And uh, this is what it normally looks like. Or you might see the little window uh, like that. And I have uh, checked off uh, HRD Digital Master. I want that to open and I want the uh, logbook to open. So I click on connect and we get all connected. Now if I go over to the logbook, you'll see that I have the radio pane in the logbook. Up here on the left. And then if I go over to Digital Master 780, which is the uh, program for PSK31, RIDI, and uh, other digital modes, you'll see that I have the radio pane uh, open over here. And uh, these two panes look, uh, look very similar. But let's take a look at uh, the rig control first. And uh, in another video, I, I did uh, some editing in the uh, connect window. I changed a few things, but uh, I kind of like the way that it looks now. But if you go up to customize, and uh, then over to uh, the sliders layout, this tab right here, uh, you can change the sliders in there. And uh, this is just the, the default layout. You can put in some alternatives, uh, maybe uh, one that doesn't have so many. But this is for the ICOM 7610. That's what I'm connected to right now. And uh, another tab to select uh, uh, select something, you just click on the drop down and, uh, and uh, select what you want. But I don't want to change anything in there right now. So that is for the uh, uh, that is for the the sliders, and that's down here in the rig control. I've got a lot of stuff down there right now. I go over to the buttons. That's another one that I I take a look at. And uh, these are the styles. I don't I haven't changed the styles of the buttons. I could make them a little bit bigger if I wanted to. Yeah, there, that's that's nice. I kind of like that better. Okay, but let's go over to the layout. This tab here, the layout, and you'll see the the buttons in there. And to change one of them, right now I've got the VFO selected, and you can see the the defined button area uh, shows the VFO. If I wanted to change that to something else. If I wanted to change that to tune, I could do that, and it changes it to tune. But uh, I do like having the VFO in there. Now uh, you can play around with this and uh, set it up uh, as you like it. I've got the other side set up, and I, I kind of like it the way it is. But uh, most of this is the, the, the default, uh, just the way it came. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and that does it for the uh, rig control. And one thing that I like to have showing are, are the favorites, and uh, that's uh, this column over here. Uh, and you open that up, and you bring it up by clicking on Selection. And then you can go down to Favorites. And I've got some favorites in here that I've saved. Uh, it's real simple to save favorites. Uh, you'll just go to go to the frequency that you want, and then click on the little favorite button. Uh, give it a title, and select the folder that you want it in, and then click OK. 
and it'll add it over here to your favorite. So that's that's neat. I like to have this. A lot of these are, come uh, pre-programmed in HRD, which I like. Okay, well that does it for rig control. Now let's take a look at let's take a look at HRD logbook. And here's my HRD logbook. And now the, the radio pane it's not connected. So I'm going to go over here and hit connect, and that brings it up. I've got a few drop downs here, and then a few buttons here, and then some sliders. And uh, this one, and DM780, I'll bring that up. Uh, that looks uh, pretty much the same. Let me go ahead and connect. You have to have HRD, you have to have this running for the radio panes to work on Digital Master and HRD Logbook. So uh, don't forget to do that. And if I, if I close that out, we would lose the connection. So let's go back and take a look at uh, HRD Logbook. And uh, to change these, you just select Options. And then over to the Default Layout tab. And I've got Automatically Connect selected. Go to Default Layout. And uh, I like uh, I like to have the IS shift in there. I like using that on sideband. I use that in the morning when I'm on a net. Uh, that helps uh, clarify things for me. But uh, these other buttons in here, I, I hardly ever use, to be honest with you. Uh, but sometimes I want to make sure that I take off the noise reduction or the noise blanker if I'm uh, operating a digital mode. So I have those in there. And I have these... Uh, these up up here and uh the data one that's for uh that's i'm on uh psk 31 right now you can change uh you can change the mode and data agc a lot of other things you could really set this up uh, uh to be pretty impressive i've just got a few things on it but you can add an awful lot to it if your radio pane is not showing uh let's see if it's not uh not showing uh, i'm gonna go ahead and Take it off right now. If it looks like that, in HRD logbook, you'll need to go up to view and then select the radio pane to get it showing. And uh, that's the way that works in HRD logbook. And as long as you're connected, whenever you make a contact, if I were to add a contact in here, uh, it would give me the, the frequency that I'm on, the mode that I'm using, and uh, it's all ready. Go ahead and close that. And uh, we'll minimize this and go into DM780. And this radio pane looks the same as the one in HRD logbook. And if you don't have this showing, it's uh, this is the button up here in the menu. Just select radio and you'll see it pops up there. I like having this uh, going. And uh, I can uh, show you to go into the options or configure. Select that. It's the same as the other one. Almost identical. This section is. I could add uh, more buttons in here if I wanted to. I could add a split in there if I wanted to. But uh, after you finish, just click save. Click save and you're ready to go. Before we go, let me uh, make one point here. You'll see on the uh, HRD rig, even though uh, the data mode is selected, it does not show up here. It just has USB. But it is it is indicated over here. And I'm looking at my radio, and it's got it down there. Also, on this one over in Digital Master 780, you can see that I have data selected. But if I just take that off, uh, let me go back and do that. If I just take that off and uh, go back to uh, the rig control, it still shows the same. It's got it off over here. Go ahead and put it back on. And as soon as I put it on, it still doesn't change up here. So don't rely on this. Okay, well, I think I just about have uh, Ham Radio Deluxe set up the way that I like it and the way I'm going to be using it. Uh, at home, I don't take this one on the road with me. I do have uh, have it on my laptop, but I don't use it too much when I'm traveling.
So if you have any questions, please comment below. I really appreciate the comments. If you want to help out the channel, just say hi below, and that really uh, that really helps me out. So uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and uh, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.